when you are ready to enroll clients into your service offering, into your program, into your products, well, whom do you reach out to? In this video, I'm going to give you three circles of people to reach out to about your offering. Okay, so first, I want to say that um, to remind you that you don't need to enroll the whole world, right? Truly, there is a limited number of clients that you can serve well at any given time. Isn't that true? And so I invite you to clarify how many clients can you truly reasonably serve well at this time and memorize that number. Is it 10 clients? Is it 20 clients? Is it 50 people in your program? But memorize the number for how many you can truly serve well at this time and therefore realize that those spaces to work with you each one is valuable because when you think about oh I've got to just enroll lots of lots of people it becomes so expanded in your mind that you become desperate but when you memorize the number of how many client spots you really have each one of those is truly valuable and guess what that means instead of the typical fear that people might say no to working with you right people not, might not say yes I invite you to flip that around and realize that you have to be the one to say yes to somebody to work with you because your limited client spots each of them is valuable your time and energy are valuable and you only want to work with the people who can truly get the best results from working with you and whom you will enjoy working with. So remember that the enrollment period, the launching of your services is about opening the doors and allowing just the right people to be able to say yes to your offerings. All right, so here are the three circles of people to, to open the doors to, to allow them to say yes. The first circle is your, I, will call, I call these circles hot, warm, and cold, or inner, middle, and outer. So right? your, inner, your inner circle is the, your hot circle, your hottest circle. And in your hot circle are several subgroups of people. One is your current clients. These are clients who are getting good results from working with you already and who may want to renew uh, with you for another round of working with you. Or, or clients who um, maybe they just began working with you and you know that if they keep working with you, it seems like they're going to be getting good results. And so maybe if you have another enrollment period, you have another just, hey, should I save a spot for you? Should I secure a spot for you for the next round? Um, and so during your, the, during, when, you're, when you have room in your business to serve more clients, it makes sense to give your hot circle, your current clients, the first dibs, the first opportunity to work with you further or to take the, the next uh, you know, cycles, spots that you have to work with people, right? You can also invite your current clients to, uh, to ask them, hey, do you have a few friends or colleagues that you believe would really benefit from working with me as well because I am now opening my my business to serving a, a couple more clients and I want to give you that opportunity first to invite the people that you love and know to work with me so that um, I can serve them before I open up the doors to to my wider network right um, another part of your hot circle is your previous clients right those who got good results with you but aren't working with you currently and you might want to reach out to them to say hey I've got some spots in case you want to continue the work that we did okay uh, another part of your hot circle your inner circle is prospective clients and what I mean here specifically is those people you've already talked to uh, who inquired about your services maybe you had an exploratory call a discovery session with them and maybe the timing wasn't right for them or for you to work with you remember now to reach back out to them and say hey now I have spots again in my business before I reach out to my wider network would you like one of the the limited spots it, I enjoy talking with you and I would enjoy working with you okay um, and then 
Another part of your uh, inner circle would be your closest friends, your closest colleagues who have uh, expressed interest in your services uh, or have recently been supportive of you. So let them know that you are now enrolling new clients and uh, that if they have a friend or colleague who could really benefit from your services and you might want to describe how you help people, that you would be honored to take great care of them. And then finally, another the final part of your inner circle, your hot circle, is your promotional partner. So these are uh, colleagues who have recently promoted your services or shared your content. And now it's considered reaching out to them about this launch. Um, and it would be a good idea, by the way, if you don't already have a list of promotional partners that you're keeping track of, it would be a good idea to, to have that list. And I'll, I'll give you a link in the notes of this video to a template for tracking your promotional partners. So um, for this inner circle, for this hot circle, let them know, give them a gentle deadline of one to two weeks to respond. To let them know that you, know, you want to uh, give them the opportunity first to get one of your limited spots to work with you before you open it up to uh, your wider network. So please let you know by a particular date whether or not they want one of the spots or whether they know someone who wants one of the spots. Um, and so for example if you say hey please let me know by August 1st okay then you can send a second email uh, on you know July 25th as a reminder a gentle reminders hey you know August 1st is coming up um, before I open up to my wider network let me know if you know anyone who, who you really want me to serve them with regards to what I do for for you or for you know what I do for my clients oh and importantly also Reach out to the people in your hot, your inner circle, reach out to them one to one. Okay, one to one. Because if you mass email a bunch of people, even if you BCC them or you mass invite them or something, it's not as respectful. And also, you, you cannot customize your message to the particular person that you're emailing or you're calling or you're, or you're writing, uh, you're emailing or messaging to. Okay, so try to do this one to one. It's, they, they deserve that and you'll be more effective doing that as well. Okay, so the next circle is your, your middle circle, your warm circle, okay? And your warm circle comprises one, uh, any other fans, any other supportive friends, colleagues, supportive uh, followers of your content who, who, who you didn't reach out to in your hot circle, okay? So again, individu ideally, individually reach out to these fans uh, if, you, if you like, and I'll include a, a um, a link to a sample letter you can use. Uh, also part of your warm circle is any other promotional partners who um, that you know that 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 you you personally know but who hasn't promoted you yet in the past okay um, again with these two groups your fans and uh, your specific fans and your promotional partners try to reach out to them one-to-one -one. Uh, when I say not all if you have a fan page of 3,000 fans I don't mean reach out to those one-to-one -one, but the specific engagers the people who engage a lot with you that weren't in your close uh, hot circle you can still reach out to these warm people one-on-one -on -one if, if possible give them that respect right um, okay other parts of your warm circle your social media channels and this is when you could just post to your Facebook to your LinkedIn to your Twitter to your Google Plus Instagram wherever you do social media actively post that you are now available to serve a limited number of new clients and uh, you invite them to contact you for for a complimentary consultation or however you like to share people how you work with them uh, email your your email list your email subscribers should definitely be given the opportunity before you go to your cold market right email your subscribers put it on your blog or your podcast if you have one um, if you have a Facebook fan page consider boosting you're posting about your services. Uh, even just a $5 boosted post can make a difference with reaching a couple dozen or a couple hundred more people, okay? And finally, the third circle is your outer circle, and this is uh, really the sky's the limit, your cold circle. And this is one, promotional partners that you don't already know, um, that you can reach out to them, you can find potential promotional partners on LinkedIn, you could even find them on Facebook, you know, owners of groups, etc. 
I will give you a couple of links in the notes of this video for how to brainstorm whom to reach out to and how to reach out. I'll give you a couple of specific examples there. Another cold circle idea is paid advertisements if you have the budget on Google or Facebook. Uh, I typically don't recommend this for, for, for clients. So let's move on to uh, the next cold circle idea is individual outreach, cold, and the people you don't know yet, but people on LinkedIn. You can just basically use the LinkedIn search tool to search for people, some keywords of people who are your ideal client types. Okay, so basically anytime you want to launch your service, you want to reach out for more clients, think about these three circles. You can always come back to them again and again. So let's say that you launch your service, you put a focused effort on enrolling new clients three times a year. Then three times a year, come back to these circles, okay? Um, and remember that with each circle, you're particularly with the hot circle and then with the warm circle, you're giving them uh, a particular deadline. So for example, for the hot circle, you give them a deadline, a gentle deadline of one to two weeks. And then after that deadline passes, then you reach out to your warm circle. It gives them a gentle deadline of one to two weeks. And then you can always remind them again before, right before the deadline comes up. Then after that deadline passes, then you can reach out to your cold circle, which again, the sky's the limit. There are unlimited numbers of people you could get to know on LinkedIn or Facebook or search on Google and reach out to blog owners, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Um, now, if you've reached out to three circles, okay, these all three circles, and your enrollment still isn't working, that means you need to optimize your offering further. So be sure to watch my videos about optimizing your offering if that is the case. I hope this is helpful, and as always, I am open to your questions and your comments.